Hey friends, welcome back to Big Nate's Whiskey Lounge. I am Course M. Nate, coming at you with my review of Cooper's Craft 100 Proof. This is the Cooper's Craft Barrel Reserve Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It is 100 proof. This has been showing up in a lot of lists for people as far as daily drinkers, uh, uh, daily pours, things like that. It's showing up in a lot of lists lately. Um, I just watched a video today for Bourbon Kingdom. Today is uh, April 7th. Um, and they put it in, they did their uh, list of 10 daily drinkers for theirs for 2022. And this was one of them. Um, and uh, it's not available in my area. Um, so I was able to pick up three bottles of this. I bought one at Justin's House Suburban, and I bought two at the airport, partly because I didn't have enough room in my suitcase. And so I bought one. And then as I'm in the airport, they had them at a gift shop there. So I bought two, um, put them in my carry-ons. One of them I gave to my brother as a gift for picking me up. He had to be up. He had to be up really late, both up late, up really early the day he dropped me off at the airport, and up late the day that he picked me up. So gave that to him and a, my backup OGG 114 as a thank you. Um, so I bought three of them, and this was while I was in Louisville for um, um, Whiskey Weekend Batch Four. So we're gonna give the support. Ooh, that was a good good pop there. Now, what's interesting, and I'll get to this in a second, a little drippage there, that's okay. So let me, there, we, me and a buddy, my buddy Brandon, who I was hanging out with most of the weekend, him and his friend Eric um, from Missouri, um, we were, they had bought some bottles of this while we were down there. We were just looking at it, and there's a DSP on it. We know that this is Brown Foreman, because um, it says right on it that it's produced and bottled by Brown Foreman, um, but we, we decided to look up the DSP, um, and DSP, comes back as early times. There are two DSPs on, th this is a Brown Foreman. This is one of the, I have two bottles of the old Brown Foreman early times. I do not have the new Sazerac yet. Uh, I have not done a review of this. I'm gonna do a pour to compare these two in a second. Um, but there are two DSPs on the early times bottle and one of them is the same DSP that appears on this bottle. So just to, you know, throw it out there. Maybe Cooper's Craft is old for brown Foreman Sazerac juice. Who knows? Maybe. Oh, that banana jumps it. Um, it's 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 a little subtle, but it, I got it right away. Um, banana. I've never had Bananas Foster. So when a lot of people say Bananas Foster, like a cooked banana, sugary banana, I don't have pattern recognition to say that, but I'm sure that I would follow you if I've ever had it because it does taste like a cooked banana. Um, kind of a banana bread growing up and still to this day my mom makes a banana cake so it's basically like kind of like banana bread but it's a cake and she puts cream cheese frosting on it and it is as a person who's not a big fan of bananas I love that stuff um, rise come through a little bit so this is hundred proof so it's the same proof as the early times um, this this is bottle and bond. This is not, um, but banana, a little bit of oak, caramel, a little vanilla, some, some classic bourbon notes in here. Then on the taste, fruity, juicy. Um, the, it's a, a kind of a viscous mouthfeel. You can tell the legs on that are pretty, pretty decent. Don't know the age on this, um, but we know it's a minimum of four years because it, it's Kentucky straight and non-age stated, so we know that's four years old. Um, Cooper's Craft Barrel Reserve takes its very distinctive flavor from barrels that have post-char chiseled interior. Um, so they, they take the barrels after they char them and they chisel them a little bit further. What was really cool, so I did old, um, so Brown Foreman owns Old Forester. Um, and uh, when I went through the tour there, they, allowed, they, they let you char a barrel, which is really just pressing a button and then it chars it. It's kind of cool, but...
Yeah, b- banana. There's a lot of banana in this. Um, it's not as banana y. So when I was at Justin's House of Bourbon on Wednesday, the day before Whiskey Weekend started, um, Justin's House of Bourbon had a tasting for the junkies and they pulled out a bottle of the old Forrester 117 series, which is like extra, extra finished 1910. And that was very, very banana. Um, and this, this is similar to that, but not as banana y, but close. That's really good. So let's compare it to the Brown Foreman Early Times Bottle and Bond. The little cap thing fell off, or the little thing inside the cap, but it just fell on the floor and the door. The floor's a little dirty, so I'm not going to pick that back up and put that on. But let's do a small palate cleanse. There's a little bit of banana on that, but not as much. I get a little bit of cherry on this. Now keep in mind, the DSP on this is one of two DSPs that's on this. Um, So, there's a little banana, a little caramel, vanilla, oak. I almost got a, a cherry note on it. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. A little more banana on the flavor, on the palate, than in the nose. Not as oaky as the Cooper's Craft. The Cooper's Craft is oakier. Hmm. For being the same proof, this tastes thinner than that. Um, both good. I prefer the Cooper's Craft. It might be a little bit older. We don't know. Now, being bottom bomb, we know it has to be a minimum of four years. Um, but we know that this not being age stated, but saying that it's straight, means that it's also a minimum of four years. And this, I, I I don't know what you get in your area. I bought the three bottles I got for 50 bucks each. One at Justin's, two at the airport. Um, and I'm happy with what I paid. I know some people get them for a little bit cheaper. And I understand that. But I can't get this bottle in Western New York. I Because trust me, I've been searching for it. It's been, it's been on my bucket list for the past six months or so. Um, and I've been looking for it. So of the two, there's a slight... I, I can understand they're from the same family. A little bit of the banananess. Um, this the same. It has similar mouthfeel. This is just a little bit thinner, and this has more bananas on the flavor. So, comparing the two, Cooper's Craft is better. But this is really good. I have this bottle of the Brown Foreman, and I have a backup bottle, and I bought them as Brown Foreman, like the week after Brown Foreman sold the rights to Sazerac. Um, I hadn't found early times, and I'd been digging for that too because Sean Paisley from Bourbon Junkies really likes this, and I'd been searching for it. I was able to find two bottles at a store and bought both of them, um, and now we're starting to see the Sazerac bottle uh, early times in my area because you can tell based off the – they're both screw caps, but the Brown Foreman is a plastic screw tap, and the Sazerac is a metal one like you would get on one of the uh, lower end – not that they're lower end, but one of the wellers like the – um, Special Reserve or the uh, oh, um, the uh, oh, the Weller the Antique 107. Um, so this is really good. Really enjoy this. I have a backup bottle. Like I said, I bought three. One was a gift from my brother, but I, I have two of these. Glad to have them. Um, so that's been Cooper's Craft 100 versus Early Times Bottom Bond, the Brown Foreman edition. Thank you for sticking around. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Have a good night.